Good morning, everybody. Yes, I have the gender diverse flu. Not as bad as man flu, but. <laughs> which means I'm here, but I'm going to tell you about it. <laughs> Can I first acknowledge that we meet on the land of the Urundjeri people and pay my respects to elders, past and present, and any Aboriginal people that are with us today? And as I have for the last two years and will continue to do while I'm the Commissioner for Gender and Sexuality, I want to acknowledge my elders, the elders of the lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, gender diverse and intersex community. There wouldn't be a Commissioner in Victoria without the work of all the elders and every day I stand on your shoulders and uh, I really mean that. Every day I say it, every day I mean it. No more than I do today. <laughs> and I'm out of my sick bed because I am so passionate about my elders and about this conference. And often when I talk to LGBTI elders around Victoria, they say, no, no, just, just do things for the young people. We had our time. Just make it better for young people. And, and why that's so, so powerful in so many ways. Well, bad luck, the next couple of days is all about you. <laughs> and that's probably the only piece of advice that I don't take from you when you tell me what to do. So, but uh, Liam's mentioned a couple of things the Victorian government's done. I'm very excited. I've got to go home and get well for the, uh, to, to get, get to the app, the coming back out ball. There's quite a, a buzz in Victoria about this ball. And in um, the rural road show, uh, Ben Star's going off. There's a whole busload coming from Ben Star. I don't know if they're at the conference, but they're so excited about it and, and so proud that the Victorian government was able to sponsor that. I've just, um, I've just come back from Western Australia and Adelaide talking about what Victoria's doing. And one of the things they were most interested in is the work we're doing with elders and the ball. And so well, I'd be surprised if you see coming back out balls in other states around Australia. And I love it when they, uh, when they take the good ideas that um, come out of this state. Uh, and the Pride Centre. And my vision for the Pride Centre is to have a final, as Liam said, a final home where we can actually park the archives. But not park them where they're in containers and shipping containers like they are now but have a gallery, have an interactive space where generations to come after me can go and see the work that the LGBTI elders have done uh, in Victoria. We have the Australian collection, uh, not to brag, but we have the Australian collection, but it'll be on show there. And that intergenerational learning is really, really, really important. Uh, I just, um, my notes also say, um, I'll be hanging around all day and it'd be good to talk to you. Uh, that's not true. Um, <laughs> It would be lovely to talk to you all, but um, I am going to go home but, and get well, because you don't need this flu going around this conference either. But um, I know I've had a look at the program. It looks absolutely sensational. Congratulations to, to Vows, to everybody who's put it on, um, Gay and Lesbian Health Victoria. Um, I, I believe Sharon said lovely things when she was here. I need to acknowledge her. Sorry I missed that. Gillian Triggs, it's good to have you here as well. And, um, to everybody who's visiting Victoria, welcome to the Equality State. Um, I hope you have a really, really wonderful time and um, thank you very much for having me today.